All right, it's April 11th, and it's gonna get an update on all my indeniums. Since I've gotten this guy, it's been it's probably quadrupled in height at least. It was only maybe probably a foot tall before, not even, and right now it's solid three feet. So it's been making plows consistently. But one thing I actually did really lately is I actually raised this guy up. So you can see like it was actually at soil level like three inches up to like right here where the branches are starting. So once you actually bring them up it forces the roots at the bottom to uh, thicken up. And another thing that I've been doing with these guys is I've been water restricting so I just haven't been watering them at all and letting it rain. I actually did water them like in the last two days. And what that does is it gives them like a drought period and it forces them to get stressed out so they feel like they need to store more water to make the codex bigger. And I'm going to keep on doing that to see if these guys get a lot bigger. And these guys right here are seedlings. They were planted from seed around December, so it's been about four months or so. Yeah, four months. Yeah, and as you can see, all the codexes are pretty decent size and they're not all that tall. And actually, water restricted these guys for two or three weeks. Like, it's rained every so often here and often, but. These are pretty small pots and they don't really hold a lot of water so even after a day they get pretty dry. And I do that on purpose because I want these codexes to get massive really fat. Like the biggest ones among these two things might be about an inch and a half. But I'm hoping to get these guys to like four or five inches while they're in this pot. Make them fill up most of the pot. And we'll actually start seeing these guys flower. I probably might sell some of them and keep one of each type. And here are some of the small ones that just uh, didn't really get a good start. Sometimes you just have some that don't do too well. And this one might be dying off, but it happens every so often. For example, this one got too much water because maybe about a month ago it was raining a whole lot and it might not make it it might make it but I basically let it dry out put some fungicide on it at the bottom cut off the rotten portion and plug it back in to see if it does anything and say so my biggest seedling is either this one or this one might be even bigger yeah this one is probably the biggest and they're all different species because this one definitely has a longer leaf than the rest of them. And it's a pretty big codex too. But yeah, uh, for now I probably won't be watering these guys for like another month or so. I'm just letting these guys stress out again before I water them to see if I can get these codexes nice and big. And yeah, I have just about a hundred adeniums or desert roses. And with all these codexes, as you see, I try to raise them as high as possible when I transplant them. And even after transplanting them, I raise them like another inch or so, just so that the codexes can get stressed out and they can grow some more. Because bringing them up, it's supposed to get the codexes to and as well as these roots to really swap some more so it can make the codex even fatter. And turn these guys into some bonsai. You can see right here too. I definitely raised it up and ever since I raised it up it seems like the bottom part is swelling up even more so you gotta tell by the different coloration. This one you can definitely tell, it's definitely swelling. This root definitely wasn't nearly as big when I raised it up. 
And yeah, if they keep on growing down deeper, I might raise them up another inch or so. And just keep on getting these cardex as big until they're massive. And one thing that I can see that's really similar to adeniums are green radishes or daikons. So as you see, I really neglect these guys. I don't even water them. I just let it rain on them. And just like an adenium, but even faster growth because these guys are only like two, three months old. As they swell up like crazy, even though they're completely neglected. It's crazy how there's like solar root mass going into here, but this is like a two, two and a half inch thick radish. And like this one, this is crazy. This is like at the base, it's like three and a half inches in diameter. It's crazy. Might be even four inches like below there, so. As you see, with plenty of sun and it's basically being stressed out, it makes these radishes swell up like crazy. So I'm kind of applying the same thing, well, same concept to the adeniums, and hope hopefully get some really fat products.